Hello, good morning everyone. I'm Dr. Ramakrishnan. I'm the Chief Mentor and Director of Yerk Academy of Higher Education Training. The Yerk is Academy. The core objective of this lecture or a series of lectures in both knowledge and on leadership and on even on daily briefs. As an academician, having decades of experience, I felt the students' community as well as the public at large. Let's have a series of an academic rigor, especially the policies which, have, which has a great impact on the society as a well. whole. I felt there is a need of the other. So that is a basic objective in which on behalf of the academy, we as, a, we as a part of the team felt we should hit topics which is happening in our country and across the globe. We thought we'll share it with you and request you to view it. And you have any clarification, any improvement upon or you feel it, you have any, any kind of doubts you want to raise it upon, or any clarity, please feel free to text me, mail me. That will really help in me as a team to progress. Thank you. Now we'll start with today's lecture. I'm an alumnus of Ministry of Science, Bangalore and also College of Engineering, Gindi, Lahore University, and an alumnus of Science School of Radhi Nagar. We have a, a team of a practitioners in various domains who will have a series of discussions. So we'll take it up. Before starting this lecture, I thought of introducing you Cervantes Don Quixote, one of the greatest novel writer in this, the great, the leader, Don Quixote, talks about, talks to his squire Sancho, that, that he know very little about the subject of adventures. What he say is true, and now you'll see that it is so. That's what he talks about. We'll go on. The Electricity Amendment Bill 2022. It was tabled in the Lok Sabha on 8th of August 2022. As a student or as a public, or as an academician, we should always look at the bill, the core element of the bill, that is, what is the objective and reasons for which the bill is placed? Because once it becomes an act, you will not have an access to it, in the sense that the bill is available, always you can see the bill. But in the bill stage itself, the bill is only meant for debating. So I want, let's look at what is the statement of objects. Here it talks about, we know that the Parent Act is the Electricity Act 2003. That's a Parent Act. This bill wants to amend the Act. We should know that the Electricity Act 2003 subsumed a lot of the past acts that we will we'll look into it. 
and electricity the major the core element of the electricity is you need a generation the power has to be generated somewhere then it has to be transmitted from the source of generation to the point of consume where you want to consume it so you need basically generation then you have to transmit the power then from that to the point of transmission or distribute the distribution it can be distributed to agriculture to the industry to the domestic consumers like you and me or any kind of end users and also you should look at the generation is talking about generation can be with the fossil fuel or non fossil non fossil when we are talking about it comes into renewable energy it can be hydro power station or it can be wind or it can be solar so we have the all integrated and you should try to understand when the normally the electricity is such a we you know the electricity is a flow of electrons that's a basic thing you should understand as soon when it is generated it has to be consumed if at all it has been stored only it can be stored in the battery mode once again it has to be released but whenever you want to consume at the peak consumption you have to have a backup in terms of generation See, it all has to be interrelated. That's the challenge. Lies the science has improved to take the generation, the point of generation to reach the consumers. So here, the the bill the amendment talks about talks about related like generation, the transmission, and distribution, and also trading because somebody wants to generate, they can also trade the electricity. Maybe the captive, the power producer. Maybe the excess he he wants to sell it out. Maybe whoever is interested he can buy it out. So you need a mechanism into trade also. So it talks about generation, transmission, distribution, and trading, and promoting competition. It talks about how and what to do to promote a competition element of competition is built. and at the same time how are we going to protect the interest of the consumer and electricity is a prime driver for the growth of the nation so we are going to supply to all areas that's a challenge so the challenge of only apart from the as we talked about the fossil fuel when we are talking about sustainability there is apart from sustainability in two things one is about the resource and we're sustaining the industry per se so here only the, the question of come this is where the state or the government steps in so how are we going to enforce a contract or the, how are we going to make the payment security mechanism payment security is you have to generate somebody consumes a power but how the payment mechanism goes and so far we should understand the major distributing company for state owned so what is the mechanism of payment from the state owned to the generating industry so who is going to invest on the transmission lines who is going to invest on generation and of course distribution and right to the last mile connectivity and like a telephone industry telecom here it's wired It has to be physically wired to reach the end user. So that is the necessary, the parameters or the objects or reasons behind this amounting act. That's what when it was stable it talks about. Now once it was stable, let us look at the reaction to this. That's what is more interesting. Let's go to the next slide. Now, 
Now, once it is stable in the parliament, there is stiff portion from the House panel, a portion member, so it was referred to the House panel. Immediately it was sent to House panel. There is a portion from the, the leading farmer's friend, Shamik Kishan Mocha, and also trade unions, and also the employees protesting. Like in the state of Tamil Nadu, the Tamil Nadu Generation and Distribution Corporation employees protested, the farmer's friend of Tamil Nadu protested. They were talking about the bill attacks on constitutional rights. Let me why won't annotate. Constitutional rights of states. How does a bill attack the constitutional rights of states? Let's try to understand. And the huge uproar. What is the reason for a huge uproar? The opposition in peace said the bill, it is not just anti-former, but also anti-constitution and against the interests of states. They put in three. The bill no way serves the interests of the farmer, and it's against the state, state interest, and against the constitution. Why the question of constitution comes? Now let's look at the bill from the way it is amended and what is the kind of why these kind of issues are approved for the bill has come. Let's try to look into it. That is the objective of our session today because as I pointed out to sustain democracy and inform citizens is important. That's a basic thing. Unless until we get enlightened, we get the very if you're unable to look at the objective manner, then nothing. The 75 years of independence will not give the desire, the freedom in which we aspire. That's a basic thing. Let us look at an objective manner. Let us look at why there is an uproar or for the sake of this kind of opposition, does the opposition members are fighting? Let us look at it. So this course of whatever the, uh, this lecture series, I want to put it in a more objective manner, what is happening, what the bill talks about. Then we, we will discuss it. Then based upon your input, I am too happy to uh, have a one to one interaction session, maybe of course through this, they lose this online media to really uh, touch upon across the uh, uh, globe. Well, let's get into the next slide. Okay. Now, this is a basic a concept which I want to reiterate, that is a causality. Causality is nothing but the cause and effect. What is the cause and effect? To an act has come, the government of India, the Ministry of Power wants to amend the bill and they have raised such certain objects and reasons for the bill. How it is going to help? How it is going to induce a competitiveness? How it's going to reach the consumer interest. It has raised a lot of things. Section or subsection or clause, what's the kind of impact? Unless we deliberate on that, then we cannot look at this bill in a more objective manner. Uh, relationship is emanating. Because unless we have a, we don't have a historical perspective in which the bill we should not look at it in an isolated manner. That's the reason why I told you we should look at it in more of interconnected manner. Then only we can look at it in a much more an objective 
and not at a bias. As a student of science, we should always look at in a more of objective. Because that is the need of the time.